Hello, it's Sarah. And I wanted to share some of my ATCs that I made. Uh, I've been zentangling. Zen being relaxing, tangle meaning doodle. That's what I found out. Um, and it's fun. I'm enjoying it. Um, I also watched a few uh, tutorials on YouTube and demonstrations and things. And one woman, and I, I think she was from... Um, she either had something to do with micron pens or paper. I don't know. But she said it's not perfect. Don't worry about it. It's not perfect. So that helped me because when I was first playing, I think I was really trying to make my lines super straight, make everything, you know, so perfect and connected. But that's not what it's about. So I was happy that she said that and took it from there. I just decided, all right, I'm just going to play. So this is just, and I, I apologize, I don't know if this is what kind of paper this is. I think I just used up my um, mixed media papers that I had. I bought clearance packages of ATCs and stuff. Any type of paper that was like cut to the size, I just grabbed them and started playing, so I'm not sure. Um, and I backed it with um, file folders. So this is a tangle that I did, and it's basically, you just start with a shape. <laughs> And this is an ATC side. I did size. I put a frame around it, but then you just make a loopy line, a couple of loopy lines, and connect them, and then you make different patterns in each section. So this is kind of what that is, and it's just some designs that I've been playing with. I have two books. I bought Zentangles 1 and 2. So I'm getting a lot of the designs from there, but I am starting to do variations and just kind of play like this circle one is a variation on another circle one. So I did that. Then this is actually based on a stained glass piece that I have that I did. And when I, I think about it, I think stained glass patterns are very good to do in Zentangle. Now, supposedly, um, Zentangle isn't supposed to be a structured thing. It's supposed to be something like this. Like you can look at it from every um, like angle. But this is called something else. They said um, well, one of these books is telling me. Hold on, I'm gonna find it. It's right here. <clears throat> Zia strings. Uh, Z i a meaning Zentangle inspired art. So. They have different shapes here, like there's the butterfly, the conch shell, a hand. So, and then you would put strings inside that and, and do the, um, the different um, tangles. I don't know what they're called, not tangles, but um, doodles, doodles, you know. Um, anyway, so I was very inspired by a couple different um, stained glass pieces that I did. So this is the sailboat. And I tried to keep the water kind of swirly patterns. And the sky, I did, well, I did two suns. But this is actually a cloud on the stained glass one. So I made that look kind of puffy, I think. I really like how this one turned out. That one was pretty cool. Um, then, of course, I had to do some words. So this love was one of the first ones. And I don't, you can't really notice it, but there are some erasure lines because I did first sketch it out with pencil and then went over it and I straightened things out and then I erased but um you know I'm still really happy with it I like the way this one turned out this is one of my favorite ones this circle one that is so cool I really really like that one um and then I played with a couple of daisies I put some daisies in there with just some stripes but honestly guys these are um variations of things that I've seen on YouTube on Google um and in the books so um i can't take credit for any of these this is peace i really like how this one turned out i like this this is i think a border design but i like this little swirly with the um i want to call it like a paisley flat uh, leaf there and i just put a flower in the middle and um this is a big one this um strings i don't know it's not strings but like they they're crisscross lines and that's a big one. To do that in a box looks really cool. So to do letters is kind of interesting because you have to make it more of um, a border because it's you don't get a lot of room to work. But I really like how that one turned out. And then, of course, I had to do create. And I did that one this morning. Most of these I did last night or yesterday. 
Um, but I have a doctor's appointment today. Yay! I'm gonna. I think I have an ear infection, and that's what's holding up the why I'm not getting better. Um, but see, here's those circles again. I really like the circles. Wait, they were on the love. Yeah. See the A and then the O one here. I really like that design. That's a very cool one. Um, what else? I have Wish, and this is actually on a different kind of paper. Um, and I here again the S. I did that um, like swirly flower floral pattern. It's not like a flower, but it's just like a swirl with a leaf. This is a cool one too. This looks like a, some type of a um, what do they call a kaleidoscope? When you look inside the kaleidoscope, that's what that reminds me of. So just some of them. Then I decided to play with color, and I may go get the um, the micron pens in color. Uh, they have, I don't remember, but they did have a color set of the micro pens because I am loving the O, the O1 pen, which I never used to use before, is amazing. You can make the tiniest little marks. Like all these little, like curly cues are so amazing. Like it's just the best pen ever to like do this little detail work. I've been switching it out and doing like using the three and the five and stuff to, to like try it and look for coloring things in and all that stuff. But like I go back to the O1 every time. So this is just colored with my Sharpies. I got some fine point Sharpies a while back and I actually sprayed these all first with a matte sealer, um, just a spray varnish because I was afraid um, I would make the ink run that's in, I think it's an India ink. I'm not sure. What is this considered? Um, anyway, archival, uh, anyway, I just didn't want to take the chance that it would run. And this dream was a very lightly entangled one. It didn't have an, a lot of black in it. Like usually you would block in some things with the black. So I colored it with the colors and I really like how that turned out. That is super cool. I just like the brightness of it. It's really sweet. So then this one was one, another word, hope, that I did with a border. And I kind of liked how I was doing the words without the border. I just liked how they were. I don't know. I kind of like the border now, too. <laughs> but I like, like, love was, like, my inspiration. I really liked that without the border. But this had a border. So then I just decided, wow, I'm just going to put a bunch of little dots. And I love this teal color. I'm, I'm really, I love teal. In the, in the blank spaces and kind of try that. And I love how that turned out too. So adding color is um, another great option. And here's two more, I'm running out of time. Um, another two that I, are inspired by uh, my stained glass. So I have actually right in front of me and it's a very rainy day today. But this sits in my kitchen window. It's just a, a, a tulip design, very simple stained glass pattern that I thought, well, I can disentangle that. So that's what I did. I just kind of drew it out on a, an ATC size. And because like the inside pieces of glass were clear, I just wink a stella them and just mimicked the colors on the on the tulip. So I did the, the tulip flower pink, green, and then blue all around. I don't know. I did these with my um, Tim Holtz too. I kind of just watercolored them on. So they're just sheer. They're not um, real bold color. Just a wash of color is what I'm trying to say. Um, and I like that. And I did the same thing with this one. This is a um, hot air balloon, obviously. Um, and this is to, this is representing ground, trees, mountains, um, and then the sky. And then I just kind of made a sun looking thing up top and just made the balloons a little brighter colors instead of the earth tones for that. And the baskets are brown. So very um, cool that I, I could use and was inspired by my stained glass. I was just sitting there last night and I'm like looking at the glass like, yeah, that looks like a totally good pattern to disentangle. So um, I did them. So that is what I've been doing, guys. I'm um, going to keep doing this. It's super fun. And I hope you give it a try, too. It's very easy, and it's an on-the-go uh, uh, craft, as Lolly said. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.